Today, I am boarding the MSC Seaside for a three-day cruise to the Bahamas. And I'm going to be boarding the Independence of the Seas. With all of the options to the Bahamas, we are here to tell you which one is best. Who has the best food, the best private island, who has better shows, and much more. All right, I am here at the terminal. It is 12.04. I'm going to start my watch to see how long the process is for check-in and boarding the ship. So let's start right now. All right, let's see how long this is going to take. Right now it is 1.16 p.m. Put that on a timer. Okay, I'm in line before security. Let's see how long this takes. All right, guys, let's get all checked in. Go through this process and I'll see you with another time update. Definitely looks like they have enough room to sit people if there's ever a delay, but doesn't appear there is a delay. Everything's moving pretty efficiently so far. Pretty nice. All right, it's been almost 13 and a half minutes and I just made it through security. So now I have to go do the check-in and um, there's quite a few people in this terminal. So this might take a little bit of time. I wonder how Cullen's doing. All right guys, the time is 1.30. I'm excited to see how long it takes Alyssa to get on the MNC Seaside. So far, very efficient. I'm very proud of them. Let's board this thing. Okay, overall that wasn't that bad. Um, it's been 21 minutes and 35 seconds and she said it was open boarding and I can get on the ship right now, which is super exciting. They already gave me my card. Um, normally it's at the cabin door, so this is new. And she said that the buffet's open and rooms will be ready at two. So that was pretty fast, very efficient for MSC. Pretty happy with it overall. I'd give her the five out of five. Now let's get on the ship. All right, lucky for me, when boarding the ship, my muster station was right there, so I'm already scanned in. Dang, this place is noise. Finally on the ship. It took another nine minutes, so it's been 30 minutes total to get on the ship. Um, not terrible. I did notice that there's a long line and like a crowd as soon as you get on the ship. That's not uncommon, but um, it is kind of clustery, which is kind of annoying, but the ship is beautiful. Take a look at that. Wow. Wow. All right, so this is my very first time on the Independence of the Sea, so I really don't know what to expect. All right, as I mentioned before, the lady downstairs said the buffet was open, so I am here at the Marketplace Buffet. It is on deck eight, which I feel like is not common, but that's very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get some food because I'm hungry, and we're gonna see what kind of selections that the buffet has to offer. I'm at my room here, 6328. Let's get into this thing. All right, one moment. All right, I'm just gonna open this real quick. Nice. All right, I kind of got a mix of a lot of things. There was like ethnic food, which was like Mexican, rotisserie chicken, there's some um, broccoli, and MSC is known for their pizza because it's an Italian cruise line. So I had to at least try it. Okay, y'all. That's pretty tasty. All right. Gotta stick it in there. Let's check this out. All right. We're in here, guys. All right, it is now two o'clock, so I'm going to go check out the room because I want to see it, and also, I might need a nap. Balcony looks nice. Let's go do a little room tour. All right, this is very spacious. All right, I found my cabin. I'm staying in 11213. It was kind of at the end of this little hallway here. There's the wall. Um, so let's see, but this is real interesting. I don't know if there's supposed to be a cover on that, but it's kind of weird. Let's see inside. Alyssa, I bet you my room is better than yours. Great. Off to a good start. There we go. All right, so it's obviously dark in here. Um, I need to put my card in this little switch in order to make the lights turn on. Ta-da. Ooh, nice. So complimentary waters. This should come in handy. So for those of you that don't know, I am a Diamond member. So I get six free drinks or four, three, four free drinks a day. And uh, it looks like they just go ahead and gave me a couple of them to do it. So I appreciate that, Royal Caribbean. Um, but here is my lovely balcony stateroom. Um, it is so far really nice. I love the decor. It's purple. Purple, super fun, but let's check out the space and see how many amenities there are. Now with all this space in here, definitely can just get some time to relax, kick back, and you know, I don't know, maybe take a nap, but 
Let's go see what the balcony is like. All right, let's check out this bathroom. All right, pretty standard, pretty spacious, actually. I like this counter. There's plenty of room over here to store all of your things. Um, and the shower seems pretty big as well. Ooh, this is nice. All right, so I've seen a balcony before. This one's really spacious, so I'm digging it for sure. Lots of noise out there. This is kind of interesting. This is the closet itself. Um, you can't really get to it. Like, there's not a lot of room here. I mean, I guess I could do that because I'm small. I've literally never seen um, a closet like this in the state room before, but yeah, I can't open it from this side. I'm not sure who designed this, but... They didn't do a great job. So I decided to check out Playmakers, maybe grab a beer, see what that's all about, and uh, we'll go get something to eat. Let's check out the balcony. Um, pretty nice size here. Um, what I kind of like about this is obviously there's a chair, two chairs, but then there's like this little ottoman, which I would prefer instead of a table. And now I'm thinking about it, now I wish I had a table because I do like to have some coffee or breakfast out here on the balcony typically and now i don't have a place to sit my food so that's pretty interesting i wonder why they chose the ottoman versus a table oh well all right so they have these like digital menus you know why but i'm gonna put in an order go find a seat or a booth or something have a drink here in a uh, playmakers eat some food I don't know, maybe some nachos, and then, um, yeah, just hang out. Now, this is not included. It does cost a little bit extra, but it's kind of nice to sit in a bar, watch some sports, have a beer. You know, the music's kind of chill. I think it's like, you know, it's what it is. I'm just gonna enjoy it. It's time for our safety drill. MSC does things a little bit differently, and we all have to watch the safety video in our cabin. And then it sounds like we have to call something on the phone and then we have to go to the station. It sounds very complicated, um, but I have four minutes before it starts. So I have to tune into channel six and uh, let's show you what that looks like. Live TV. Oh. Pass the waist belt, then pass the belt. Well, that doesn't YouTube. look like channel six. That looks like channel one. Titan. They lied. <laughs> What do you guys think about that pour? This is clearly why I'm not a bartender. I'm not sure that worked. It wasn't speaking in English. It didn't tell me what to do. Let me try again. All right, the nachos are here. These look absolutely delicious. They're like little tempura fried nachos. Mmm, those are good. Follow the signs and instructions of our crew. Do not use the elevators. And when you reach the assembly station, show your cruise card to our staff. We got some cilantro on there, some scallions. Mm. Well, I guess I have to go to my assembly station. Like I said, I don't know if the phone thing worked. I'm not sure what the point of the phone thing is, but I am going to try to find my assembly station right now so I don't get in trouble. All right, guys, we're about to take off. Sailway party's happening. Now, there's a lot of people at the pool having fun. Definitely a lot of like bachelorette parties, but everyone is having such a good time. Do not like this at all. Can't use the elevator, which I understand, but the stairways are super crowded, which is really interesting that they make us watch a thing in the cabin and it literally said to avoid crowds. And then look at, look at these stairs. probably one of the worst experiences that I've had for a mustard drill. I hope Collins is a little smoother. All right, lucky for me, when boarding this ship, my mustard station was right there, so I'm already scanned in. So I decided to come back to the privacy of my own room, have a drink, watch the sail away from here, because this is very relaxing. Up there was absolute chaos in a good way. If you're at a party, you're gonna have one there. Okay, tonight I am eating in the main dining room. I'm going to see how this experience is. I wanna see how long it takes. I wanna see the quality of the food, the variety of food. I'm gonna test it all. So I just got seated at my table. Um, it took a few minutes, um, but we're going to officially start service now. All right, guys, so I am about to have dinner here in the main dining room. It's a taste of Italy night. Sounds delicioso. I feel like that's Spanish. Try not to roast me too bad on my Italian, but we got some good looking food here, some minestrone, cappaccio, some crispy Parmesan arcini, 
and uh, I think uh, I'll catch up with you when I have an understanding of what I actually am going to order. My order. appetizer came. I ordered the chicken croquettes. They look okay. Um, a little small, but it is an appetizer portion. It's also been 26 minutes. Just keep that in mind. Um, so let's see how they taste. All right, guys, cheers to a successful cruise so far. I got some champagne to kick off the night of Italian night. I feel like I should have gotten something else because champagne is technically from France, but you know, whatever. Oh, hot. It's, it's okay. It, the flavor's okay. It's nothing spectacular. All right, guys, at 7.05, let's put a timer on the clock on how long it's going to take to get dinner. I'm in no rush, but I'm just curious how long it will take for me to get my food. All right, I also ordered a Caesar salad, which that actually looks pretty good. It's a Caesar salad. Arancini is here, y'all. Looks good. Forty-six minutes in, and my steak has arrived. It has come with vegetables and mashed potatoes. All right, guys, the beef carpaccio is here. Uh, it's delicious. Just letting you guys know, carpaccio. More like carpaccio. Whoa, that's delicious. You don't have to get up. I'll see myself out. Steak. I ordered medium. Medium-ish. It tastes okay. I'm not a huge fan of like gravy and sauce all over my steak. I think it would have been better without it, but overall the flavor is pretty good. The time is 7.52. I'll put a timestamp right here, but so far so good. I ordered two entrees because I'm, I'm really hungry. An hour and six minutes and my dessert is here. I ordered the coconut pistachio. D'accord. Mm. That's my favorite thing about this whole dinner. That's pretty tasty. All right, guys, I got some tiramisu here. That's not how you do it. <laughs> that's good. That's really good. Well, that's it for day one. Overall, a pretty solid day. But I think I'm going to get some sleep because I have a long day tomorrow. So, good night. Today I'm going to be exploring MSC's private island, Ocean Key, here in the Bahamas. We are actually here for the next day and a half, which is super neat. So let's go check out this island. All right guys, currently it is raining outside. So I'm just sitting on the balcony here at Coco Cay, the perfect day. Unfortunately, right now it's the rainy day. <laughs> Please stop, um, I'll, I know where the door is. I'll see myself out. People are still getting off the ship, so there are some trams that are going to take people, but some people have decided to walk. Look at that. Wet roads. All good. I'm going to see if it clears up a little bit, but it's nice seeing a sister ship in port today. That's pretty nice. All right, I haven't gotten very far, but I'm already loving the vibe of this island. It kind of reminds me of like an, a luxury upscale beach club, beach resort. It's really nice and clean. All right, so I got two towels because one, I imagine I'm coming back super wet. I'm gonna try to keep my stuff dry out here in the rain. How big is the Bahamas anyway? Anyone have an idea? I wonder what Alyssa is experiencing right now. I think I'm gonna have a great time today. I did see that the Yacht Club, they have their own private beach area, which is pretty nice. Maybe next time I'll have to upgrade myself to the Yacht Club because who doesn't love some special treatment on vacation? Taking a look at this map here so I know where I'm going. Lots of beaches. Oh, there's a spa. But yeah, that's uh, kind of it. I'm here at the Oasis Lagoon, the giant pool in the Bahamas here. So I'm going to pop up shop. I don't know, order a couple of drinks, hang out. See what it's all about who knows i hear there's some good food on the island as well but that looks pretty cool every time i'm here it just, it just looks good it does appear that there's a tram that runs around the island and this is where you'd pick it up which is really convenient because the ship is right there but i could use my exercise so i'm going to do a walking tour today all right here are the part of the shops um they look super nice i mean here's the souvenir shop it just i don't know it just i love the vibe here let's see what we can find I'm a sucker for a good souvenir. These are pretty. Ooh, yep, that looks nice. All right, prices are not that bad, honestly. About $20 for a shirt, $30 for a towel. I might stop back later because I can't go home empty-handed. Look, guys. Dinner. <laughs> this is pretty neat. They have like a coffee and ice cream spot here. Obviously, you have to pay extra for it. 
but an iced coffee sounds really nice right now, so I might get one. All right, guys, so I decided to get a pina colada here, and uh, it's pretty good, but I'm just hanging out by the pool, checking it out. So I went ahead and I got their specialty coffee. It was Ocean Key Coconilla Latte, and it has espresso, coconut milk, and vanilla, and it is actually very good. One of the best coffees I've had in a while, so go ahead and splurge. It was like 6.09 after tax, but totally worth it. With all this walking, I feel like I need to find a place to sit and relax. It is such a beautiful day after all. Let me see if I can find a place to sit. All right, I'm approaching my first um, lagoon area. It's called Seeker's Cove, but it looks like it's closed. There's absolutely no one over there, but there are swim platforms out there, so it looks like people should be able to be there. Um, but it's empty. I just want to point out, like, as far as like weekend cruisers go, this might be the cruise ship for you. Got a DJ coming soon. There's lots of bachelor and bachelorette parties going on, so tons of opportunities for you to meet new people. There's good drinks, and so yeah, it's fun. I can't wait to get into some of the food here, but I'm just kind of walking around, see what we got to do, and then I'll see you guys next month. All right, looks like I found a nice little beach. Um, let me see if I can find some shade though. Doesn't appear that there are lots of umbrellas out. This is very odd. There's a lot of like umbrella poles, but no, there's only a few umbrellas where people are seated. It's not windy. Let me go ask what's going on because I could use, it's hot. Like I could use some shade. So let me go ask this lifeguard and see what he says. Guys, the weather is getting better here at Coco Cay. Vibes right, the music's good. People are hanging out, people are about to get lunch, so I would highly recommend you give this a shot for sure. Well, that is the silliest thing I think I've ever heard. Um, Y'all, apparently you need to rent an umbrella. You can't just sit in the shade for free here. It's like $16 to rent an umbrella, and he said that I had to carry it myself and set it up everywhere I wanted to go. Let me go see if I can find some free shade around here. Tell you what, there's tons of chairs and umbrellas available. It's also a pretty cool view of like the balloon right behind you. That makes a great photo op for sure. I'm just gonna walk around and try to find something to do. All right, now it's time to get some lunch. And so they have a free option here, but they also have some other free options called like the like snack shacks. And there's something called a secret sandwich that I'm gonna try as well, but I figured I'd show you guys some of the options here. So they had a lot of options, grilled chicken, burgers, hot dogs. They also have like healthy food and like watermelon, just like fresh fruit, veggies, grilled vegetables, sides like French fries and potato salad and beans. And you can make your own taco bar, like fresh made tortillas and like pork and shredded chicken. They also had a bunch of desserts too, like, like some caramel brownies, cookies. All right, now this beach looks to be a little more shade friendly. There's more umbrellas out here that I believe are first come first serve. And it's right by the ship. So that's pretty nice. Let's see if I can pop a squat over here. Lots of stuff to do around here. The weather's beautiful. So right now everyone's having fun. People are hanging out at the lagoon bar behind me. You know, just dancing around, getting drinks in their system. We got a nice floating bar available. It's, it is dope. I decided to walk towards this lighthouse because it seems like a really cool focal point of the island. Let's go check it out. See if there's anything cool to do. Oh wait, it says that there's a bar, a lighthouse bar. That's pretty neat. It's five o'clock somewhere. Let's go get a drink. This bar is actually a really cool spot because it is here at the end of the pier. You can see the ship. Um, there's live music. There are umbrellas. First come first serve. So you probably want to get here very quickly because there's not a lot of them here but this is a vibe, I kind of dig it. All right, so I'm here at one of the snack shacks. I'm ordering a secret chicken sandwich. I'm gonna order a regular chicken sandwich, and maybe some cheese sticks. And so the menu here, they also have some fresh items for you guys as well. So apparently if you want to spend $13, I believe, you can walk all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. I believe there's like a hundred stairs. If that's something you want to spend your money on, that's kind of a neat, different activity to do. I am going to save my $13 and uh, just walk a hundred stairs on the ship and look at this lighthouse because I don't really need to spend my money on that. 
Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy the rest of the day. Please wait a I've worked up an appetite, so let's go check out our food option. This seems pretty convenient. There's like a little food truck here. Hi. All right, it looks like they have cheeseburgers, hot dogs, fries, pasta salad, and brownies. Interesting. A nice little option if you don't want to go all the way to the buffet, but I do want to see what all the options are. So I'm going to head over to the Seekers Buffet and see what we have for lunch. Got the cheese stick. Let's dunk the cheese stick in some of this marinara here. Mmm. Look at that cheese pool though. Made it to Seekers Buffet. Let's check out the offerings. Salad, potato salad, bread. Oh, dessert. Don't mind if I do. Fruit. Oh, okay, we got Cuban sandwich, burgers, fries, rice and beans, baked beans, jerk chicken, and that's about it. They have an express lane, that's kind of nice. Sandwiches, burgers, hot dogs, fries. Grab and go. You're in a hurry. I got the secret chicken sandwich. I don't know what's all on it. it. Looks like a cheese stick, some kind of sauce. It's a fried chicken sandwich, lettuce and tomato, but I wonder if there's any other extra stuff on there. And if there is, that's good. Have it. Mm. Crispy. Y'all, this might be the best brownie in the Caribbean, at least in the Bahamas. This is good. Mm. Okay, that was a pretty fun day. I think I'm gonna get back on the ship right now and then I'll get off a little bit later to do the lighthouse party. All right, I think I'm gonna go to Chill Island for a little bit, go to the beach, see what's happening over there. I don't know, take a nap, go check out the shops. You know, just kind of chilling. Looks like there are a couple pools here on the seaside. So this first one I'm checking out is called the Jungle Pool. And the theming here is really neat. It's like greenery everywhere. It literally looks like you're in a jungle. So far, the day's been good. I'm gonna do some shopping. So one of the favorite things I like to do is pick up a hat. So I'm gonna look around, look for a hat, see if I can find something with the independence of the seas on it. Probably won't. Most of my luck will probably be on the actual ship, but I am just gonna do some shopping around here. Looks like they have a bunch of like straw markets, which is kind of nice, very local vibe to it. So I appreciate that. Okay, I was going to take a dip, but it appears that the pool is not open for some reason. So I'm going to go try to find another pool. Y'all, they have an entire water park. Look at all this stuff. This is so cool. All right, well, I filled out my waiver for the water slides. I have no idea what they say because he gave me a form that was completely in Spanish. So hopefully, Nothing happens that I need to know what was on that waiver, but I'm going to ride some of these slides because they look fast and really fun. Hey, hey, maybe Alyssa will like this little skirt. Hey, I'm saying, make baby number two. Wow, wow. Now that I have my wristband, I can stand in line for a tube. And uh, I'm interested to see how long this takes, honestly, because there's a good many people here. All right, looks like I found a spot to hang out at for the day. Got a nice umbrella here for me to relax at. You know, this is really nice, but I miss my wife. Alyssa, how you doing over there? Oh, the doozy. All right, guys, we're calling it goodbye at Coco Bay. All right, exploring a little bit more. This is the Miami Beach Pool. It's pretty chill right now. It's a little small. Honestly, it kind of reminds me of Virgin's Pool. There's like a uh, day beds outside, which is nice, but I'm not necessarily feeling this vibe right now. Let me go see. I think there's one more pool. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Here at the end of the ship, this here is the South Beach Pool. A lot more things are going on. There's a bar right here, beautiful elevators, and you obviously have the beautiful wake. So I'm gonna hang out here. Um, this is also an adults only pool, in case you needed to know that, but I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit and just relax. Guys, so I decided to come back outside. Listen, I'm not saying that we need to stay longer, but we are legit cruising in circles right now. <laughs> that is the perfect day. And this over here is NCL's private island. I think we could have stayed a little longer. Royal Caribbean, come on now. Let's check to see what kind of entertainment the ship has. All right, we got these nice little screens. We got shows, restaurants. There's a comedian tonight. All right, let's check to see other things here. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna get some food to eat here in a windjammer. I really don't feel like getting dressed, man. I'm kind of just like, you know, wear my thing, get some job done. Let's get some food. Let's go check out some stuff, see what they got. 
Alright guys, so I went and got my food and I got some barbecue, some polenta, some ribs, some fried chicken, of course, paired it with some watermelon because you have to, some grilled vegetables, but just meat, protein, and I'm going to dig in, let you guys know how it tastes. It looks pretty good, smells good, it's hot too. And a lot of this stuff was in the main dining room, so I just didn't have to get dressed. This whoopee cookie, y'all. Alyssa, how you doing over there? Ooh, live music. Ooh, a lighthouse show. Ooh, followed by a beach party. That sounds really fun. I think I'm gonna do that tonight. It's um, actually already after eight, so I can get back off the ship literally right now and explore the island in the dark. So let's go do that. That sounds fun. That's one nice perk about being able to stay overnight at a private island is that you get access to the island at nighttime. So they have a fun show, they have a dance party, and I think that sets them apart from another cruise line with a private island, in my opinion. I wonder what Cullen's getting into tonight. It's just so nice to see the ship all lit up at night, hanging out in port. Look how pretty she is. Alright, that was fun. I'm gonna jet though, this is fun. Now that was a total vibe and I'm here for it. So great job, MSC. That is one giant thumbs up for me. Alright guys, so I decided to go to the Diamond Lounge to get some coffee. And not just any coffee, espresso. And when I mean the Diamond Lounge espresso and coffee maker machine versus everything else around the ship. 10 times better. It's freaking crazy. So good. Come here. I guess we are leaving Ocean Key now. They are playing It's Time to Say Goodbye. Very interesting. I guess it's an Italian ship, so that makes sense. Two. Say goodbye. Gonna dip in the pool for a little bit, see what's popping there on the pool deck. But uh, so far, pretty dope experience. This is nice. Water's nice and cool. Feels good. For my final dinner tonight, I decided to come up here on the top deck. There is a beautiful bridge of size, and I'm going to see what it actually is like. Um, I heard it's really neat. This is so neat. You can literally see all the way down to deck seven. Slightly terrifying, but it's really cool. And the views out here, stunning. All right, guys, it's the last day of the cruise. Figured I'd do some specialty dining here at Chops, the steak house. And so I'm gonna order some food, taste it, and do the, what we call the steak test. For my dinner tonight, I decided to make reservations at the Butcher's Cut. It is the steakhouse here on board. Now, they brought me an actual menu this time. Everything else has been QR code on my phone, but they have a couple of different options here. It's either a la carte or the dining experience, which is $59. Um, that comes with a three course meal. So I think that's what I'm going to do. You get an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. You get steak, for instance, you also get a side. So it's still like, some decent amount of food it sounds like. I think that's what I'm going to get. I did hear that if I want more than three menu items, I do have to pay more for them. So that's interesting. Just gotta keep paying for all the food. Pay, pay, pay. Today I'm gonna order the nine ounce, the prime bone-in ribeye or the filet, can't decide. And then I'm going to do a jumbo crab cake or the bacon. Most likely some sort of salad and then I don't know, some sauteed mushrooms? That sounds good. 
Ooh, Gruyere cheese tater tots. Hey, maybe I'll even get some dino nuggets. <laughs> okay, he brought me out the bread. Now, this looks like a nice steakhouse roll, but this one, he said, is bacon and cheese. It almost looks like a biscuit. Um, I'm very intrigued. First meal is here, tuna tartare. Let's get into that. <laughs> So far, so good. The tuna tower is absolutely amazing. Okay, my first course came and it is a goat cheese tart. Um, I was did not know what to expect, but it wasn't this. And it looks delicious. Guys, these Gruyere tater tots are the bomb. I need to learn how to make these because this is really good. This is another unique thing that I've never seen on any other special dining menu. So far. Worth it. I got the goat cheese salad. Mm. My filet has arrived. Looks pretty yummy. Okay, team, so the steak has arrived. I'm gonna cut into this thing and see. They cooked it medium as requested. I ordered it medium rare, so let's see if they cooked it to my liking. Alright, here we go. That looks good. Ooh. Kind of hard to see, but um, it's pretty perfect. <laughs> guys, this steak is really good. Like, I'm coming back to you guys. Fantastic. Finally, for dessert, some llama cake. All right, guys, I got the red velvet cake. Looks good, but let's kick it back over to us. All right, guys, so I'm going to check out Greece here in the theater to see what it's all about. pretty good i was fairly impressed only slightly disappointed that michael didn't actually sing i understand but he was a great dancer i was thoroughly entertained i'm all packed got my luggage right here ready to go let's time it 750 let's go goodbye royal caribbean independence of the seas all right i just got off the ship and honestly i kind of forgot to film because the process was so quick um, it was definitely a little crowded, but I did express walk off, so people were just kind of waiting for all their stuff um, and for their number to be called. But overall, a very easy experience. Now, let's go into the terminal and see what going through customs is like. Time's 8.17. Finally off the ship, go through customs. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'll let you know what the official time is once we get down my car parking not too bad msc overall i think it took about 15 minutes to get off the ship they did have facial recognition services for immigration for passports so it was super easy super quick to just go right through the line so five out of five for me i feel like i feel like that took a long time i wonder how long it took for Alyssa. overall i had a really nice weekend i really enjoyed msc's private island i thought it was beautiful i love that we were able to stay overnight the lighthouse show and island party was super Fun. However, I didn't like that I had to pay for shade. So I'm going to give that a four out of five. The private island has so many things to do. Five out of five. Like there's something for everybody. Even if you want to pay a little bit more money, you can do the water slides. You can do the Cocoa Beach Club. There's a new adults only section that's coming out soon. So that's a win. The food was pretty okay. I will say the specialty dining was very good. My steak was great. Um, I loved all the things that came with it, so I'd give the specialty dining a five out of five. The food was good. The main dining room, I was, you know, I'll say like four out of five, but the specialty dining, of course, five out of five. It's a specialty dining. You pay a little bit more, you get a little bit more quality, a little more value, so it's worth it, in my opinion. Now, if you want our full point system, it will be in the comment section below. Let us know who you think won, despite our point system. Now, a few things I didn't really care for. The cabin itself was pretty nice. However, the closet was very strange. I was not able to get my clothes in and out very easily and they had a mini bar instead of a fridge so I wasn't able to use the fridge during the week. I thought that was pretty weird. One of the things I really didn't like, that disembarkation process, I think overall waiting in line that long and that like the sun just kind of sucks. So I'd give disembarkation like a three out of five. Also the mustard drill was pretty awful. Um, I 
do not like how they did that process at all. It was giving me anxiety, so I ranked that pretty low. I love my cabin. It was really spacious. I noticed in mine that it was the couch that was missing. I wish they'd do that for more rooms. I really don't need the couch. I don't need to sit on the couch. I'd probably say like five out of five on a room. But all those things aside, I'd say a pretty solid weekend for my MSC. Now, both cruise lines do have some pros and cons. And if you really want to know what's going on in MSC, you'll want to watch this video right here. And if you're curious what it's like to cruise on Royal Caribbean, check this video right here. Let us know which one you like the most, and we'll see you in the next one.